today we are understanding doing the experiment known as electro polishing so electro polishing is basically used to prepare the specimens for doing the ebsd so for doing the electro polishing we are using the uh, some specific kind of setup this setup is actually home developed setup apart from this there are a uh, lot many uh, already uh, developed setup which is developed by these so many company but uh, those setups are very sophisticated and costly so uh, this is the setup which is developed at our home so uh, and it can be developed under rupees and pound so it is very cheaper and it can be developed by uh, it can be afforded by any of the uh, any of the uh, institute or a student to do this kind of electro policy so first of all i would like to a little bit give introduction about this setup so uh, this is the voltage and current control unit and uh, this is the uh, specific kind of uh, setup where we can put a beaker and outside outside the outside this beaker there is some space here inside this beaker this is the electro agent and outside this there is a combination of methanol and uh, liquid nitrogen to control uh, to uh, build uh, to prepare uh, maintain the temperature inside this uh, uh, is be in, inside this beaker uh, in which electro agent is there so you can see here this is something known as uh, cathode and cathode is basically uh, basically the material which is used in the cathode it is depend depend on the what material we are going to do the electro polishing so based on that electro polishing uh, material we are choosing the cathode material so this is basically austenitic stainless steel which is used for our 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 kind of uh, our mati uh, interested mati uh, uh, targeted material which is a uh, uh, grade of aluminum alloy apart from this this is the two uh, beaker in which we have put uh, some uh, uh, put any kind of uh, um, cleaning uh, cleaning solution for example we have taken the ethanol in these two uh, different small beakers and apart from all this we also have a specific temperature measurement instrument and this is a thermometer which can able to uh, which can you can see uh, in this way here the scale is uh, varying from 50 degree centigrade to the minus 50 degree centigrade so this kind is uh, this kind of uh, thermometer we have to use to uh, measure the temperature because in many cases we have to achieve our target is to achieve the uh, temperature uh, temperature uh, is like minus 30 degree centigrade or minus 20 degree centigrade so this specific kind of thermometer we need to use and in this way uh, we can measure the temperature you can see in uh, you can see inside the beaker how we i am measuring the temperature and the very important thing is to uh, uh, note that we don't have to touch the probe of this thermometer to the body of the beaker because in that way the body is uh, uh, more cooler uh, more chill so temperature will go down so that is the wrong measurement of temperature better to dip the probe uh, in in middle of the uh, solution so in that way we can uh, measure the temperature and here we can see the temperature temperature is near about uh, minus 20 degree centigrade so we have done with the temperature measurement uh, now now the next step of this electro polishing is we have we have to uh, hold the sample by using this kind of clips and this is uh, known as the anode the, uh, this is made as anode so now before doing the electro polishing the very important step is to optimize the uh, electro polishing parameters and in this parameter there are four uh, different uh, uh, parameters uh, first one is the voltage second one is the current third one is the temperature what what, uh, what we have uh, achieved here and the fourth one is the time what we are uh, going to use to do the electro polishing so these four parameter is very important to maintain or optimize so uh, we already have optimized our uh, our kf parameters so that is you can see the 4.5 uh, volt uh, voltage we are using and accordingly the uh, current will come like 0.3 to 0.5 uh, ampere and after that uh, we are going to use uh, when we start the uh, electro polishing we are going to measure the time so our time is optimized time is uh, near about 5 to 6 seconds and uh, now we uh, we are going to start and the temperature maintained is minus 20 degree centigrade approximately so uh, the main uh, the important point is when we are doing the electro polishing we have to keep in mind that how much current is uh, here is uh, appearing so if current is appearing more than our targeted uh, targeted uh, current or less than targeted uh, current so we have to immediately stop the electro polishing and first we have to again uh, check uh, remaining parameter so that we can achieve the uh, our optimized uh, current so here we are going to start the experiment first cathode uh, 
cathode is already uh, dipped into the electro agent now this is our sample this is very well polished uh, by using the standard electro -polis uh, polishing technique metallography polishing technique uh, now we are uh, this is mirror finish of the sample now we are going to do the electro polishing so uh, we are going to start the electro polishing and we are dipping this uh, uh, anodic made sample inside the electro agent so uh, my friend you can uh, start measuring the time please Go, sir. Stops. Thank you very much. Now, after doing this electro polishing, immediately we have to wash this uh, uh, sample into the first beaker, and then uh, for more cleaning, we have to use the second beaker where uh, same ethanol is there. So in this way, we can do. So uh, we can see here very nice kind of. Uh, if you can see, able to see very nice kind of electro polishing is done. So this is our optimized parameters. Thank you very much.